Hey guys, Manessa Konecki here, founder of Direct to Success, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the Facebook group chat feature. This is something that Facebook rolled out a few days ago, probably about a week ago now, um, and everybody is excited uh, with experimenting to see what this group chat feature can do for them. I wanted to tell you how you set up group chats and what they can do, and also something that you may want to be aware of in terms of protecting your community from unwanted chats. So first, let's talk about how you set up a group chat. You can do this on your mobile device or on your desktop. In order to set up your group chat, you're going to want to navigate to Facebook into the group that you want. And then on the left hand side, you'll find that there is a chat feature that is now available. Click on that and it opens up the chat section. If you want to do this on your mobile device, you merely go to your business, um, to your group, scroll down and then right in the tab section, there is a chats feature. You can click on that and then it will open up the same type of menu as you'll see on your desktop. Something to keep in mind though, is that not everybody's gonna get this feature all at once. So if you don't see it, don't worry. Facebook rolls these things out slowly, sometimes faster. Some people are still waiting for announcements. So I think they finally, they, I think they finally got to the point where all the announcements are out. However, it does take some time sometimes for things to roll out. So if you don't have it, don't worry, it will roll out to you eventually. Once you're in the chat section, you can create a chat by clicking this button here. And when you click that button, it will give you the opportunity to open a chat. You will need to name your chat and you will also need to add at least one other person to the chat. Once you have added the other person to the chat and clicked create, at that point, anyone in the community is able to join this chat at any time. So you can't make it private, anyone can join it. These group chats have a link back to the group at the very top, which is super awesome because then if you're doing a live sale from your group, then you can let people know, hey, I'm going live. And then if someone is interested, they can just click on that link and it will automatically take them to your group. At any point in time, you can close down the chat by clicking this button here and closing the chat. Once it's closed, it will automatically shut everything down, everybody is removed, and no one will be able to post to this chat again. This chat feature will only allow you to communicate with people who are within your group. So you're not gonna be able to use this same chat and then bring in people from your business page and then bring in your friends. It's not, a, it's not meant to be a general chat and it's not meant to be a replacement for your business page chat. It is meant to be a space where you can then interact with your community on a more personal level. Something to keep in mind though, is that unless you have it marked so that people who are admins or moderators are the only ones who can set up chats, anyone in your community can start a chat at any time. This means that if somebody is super active and is a conversation starter, they can start a chat that anyone in the community can join. And if random person who joined your group two years ago, but never said anything decides to start a chat, they can start one as well. Now we all can see how this might end up being a problem. So if you have some concerns about somebody coming into your group and hijacking it and maybe like creating a community chat that you didn't authorize, you can go into your group settings and scroll down and then click on only admins and moderators can set up group chats. And that'll make it so that only you and your selected individuals where your moderators or admins are able to set up your group chat. This is a fantastic feature that will allow you the opportunity to build a very strong community within your group. However, I do want to caution you because one of the things that does happen with direct sellers specifically is that once we find some of these cool tools, we start to use them for sales, 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 and more sales. And what ends up happening when we do that is that we end up turning off our community and losing customers. So remember that the psychological aspect of sales still applies. People still do not want to be sold to 24 seven. And you don't want to use this chat as an opportunity to constantly tell people when you're selling something or why. So for me, I have one chat that I've created so far. And this chat is going to be live intent notifications. That is all it's for. The only thing that we're going to be doing in this chat is I will tell people that I am going live, come and see me. And the only people who will want to join this are people who come to my morning intent. So every morning at, at 9 a.m. Eastern time, I go live and have half hour of mindset business strategy training where we talk about how to put, get yourself ready for the day. And then the second half hour is all about some aspect of learning. We'll talk about engagement or how to increase it, how to increase your sales, what language, uh, what, what kind of impact language has on your sales uh, strategy. We talk about all kinds of things to help grow your business and grow your sales. People who want to see me go live in the morning will be able to opt in to this chat. And then all I'll do is post, I'm about to go live. This is what I'm going to be talking about. You may want to consider using it for something similar. Perhaps when you go live, perhaps you'll have a group chat that's specifically for when you go live. Others of you may have book clubs that uh, this will be a great way for you guys to communicate about a book. Um, if your community tends to like watching, say, The Bachelor or The Expanse or some TV show, uh, you could do a live streaming where you guys all watch it together and then you communicate about it in the chat. 
These are the ways in which we build stronger relationships with people through interacting on a small group or one-on-one -on -one basis. This feature is a fantastic way to build and strengthen your relationships with your community. And I'll be honest, I haven't thought of a whole lot of ways in which this can be used because it is so new. So I would absolutely love to hear some ideas below workshopping how we might be able to use this feature to capitalize on the ability that it gives us to communicate with our community to grow relationships and increase sales. So please feel free to comment below. And then if you'd like to be notified when I post videos like this, please feel free to head over to my business page at Direct to Success on Facebook and follow me.